Hello guys. Um, so, <clears throat> I've now got the rear end here for my 1200 and the swinging arm that I'm going to be putting in. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this wheel out, um, give it a clean, I'm going to start pricing up a new tyre for it and stuff. Um, I've got the bearings, the wheel bearings somewhere, so I can start doing them. Um, and then um, we'll get it sorted. Um, and then um, obviously I'll take the shock off and stuff. Um, and then I'll start transferring everything over to that swinging arm there. So what I need to do then is I need to clean up that frame that I got to help me do my stand and then I need to get that on eBay and sell that try and get my money back um, so yeah um, I think the first job like I say is um, to get uh, the wheel off and then, it, and then I can move stuff around a bit easier then if the wheel's off and out of the way um, so yeah I'll start with that oh I'll tell you something that was one mucky wheel and swinging arm. I've not bothered cleaning the swinging arm, um, but I've just given the wheel a quick wash and I've removed the the balancing weights. But as you can see, there's been loads stuck on. There's some there. There was these these weren't actually weights. These were where they'd been previously stuck on and pulled off as a new as a new tyre's been put on. And what they've done is they've just not got rid of the glue for stuff. So I'm going to get rid of the glue. So there was some there, some there, some there. Uh, there was some up here somewhere. Bloody hell, man. Um, so that's... Oh, look, there's some on that side as well. Oh, I love the place. So I've just washed that off now to get rid of most of the shit. Um, obviously, the sprocket's off. I need a new sprocket. The sprocket carrier's in there. I've cleaned all the um, uh, rubber whatever you want to call them, I've bloody forgotten the name now um, cush pin, cush rubbers or something and then the swinging arm um, I have greased it all up so every nut and bolt's been out and greased um, I need a new one of them, chain guard so I'm going to get one of them uh, that's the other knuckle that I got off eBay that I've cleaned up and I've uh, Put grease in now isn't that's not red rubber grease it's some sort of lithium grease or something um, so that now is sort of like redder because I can actually put that back on the bike without the wheel if you know what I mean so what I need to do now is um, get some new tires so it has got um, Pirelli Diablo tyres, so I'm gonna just replace like for like I think and get some more of them on because they were they were alright with them. Um, so on them tyres I managed to get my knee down a couple of times. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna put them on again. Um, so the next thing is uh, like I say I'll price up some tyres um, and then I'll probably get a new tyre fitted. Uh, but first of all, I'm gonna before I get the new tire fitted, I'm gonna clean up all them bloody um, them old adhesive things where the weights have been. I'll get all that off. I think I've got some acetone somewhere. Um, get a new tire fitted, and then I might just buy a tin of black paint to give it a quick blast over because um, on the other side you can you can see where it's quite pitted. Well, not pitted, but the paint works shit. So, anyway. Um, so, yeah. So, the next time... Well, well, and this is the shock that came off. So, it's not bad nick, actually. It's in better nick than the bloody one I bought off eBay to get refurbished. So, anyway, we'll see... Uh, we'll see what the crack is with that shock when I get it back next Saturday. So this, this video might roll into next Saturday. I don't know. It depends what I do during the week. But anyway, see you later, guys. 
So I've picked up my shock absorber from Firefox Racing and I must admit I'm well happy. Um, it's taken a bit longer than expected. It took six weeks to do but um, I think overall it's come out okay. I had a load of these stickers made up so it's got the new sticker on there now as well. The new warning sticker which is good. Um, and it looks like a, a new shock now, so I'm well happy with that. So that'll be going on the bike. Um, the only thing is, I've had to leave my forks, I've, me, so my forks need re-chroming. Um, so I've, uh, I've left them, um, but this shock absorber um, has just cost me 364 quid to get done. Um, so it's had a full service, it's had that painted, um, all this aluminium cleaned up, that body painted, all this cleaned up, that cleaned up, but it's also had a brand spanking new rod in it as well. Um, and I must admit that's where the money was, in the brand new rod. So, um, it looks mint as that, I'm well happy with that. So, so I'm going to put this on the back, but what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to I'm going to I think I'm going to clean the swinging arm. I think uh, sorry, paint it. Um, so I'm going to this is going to go up in my shed. Um, I'm going to take it up in this towel and wrap it up and put it in the shed, and then um, we'll go from there. So two minutes and I'll be in shed. So after getting the shock back this morning, can't really do oaks. It's fucking pissing it down. Um, so, I'm just gonna. This is gonna just gonna be like a checklist type thing um, as to what I need um, and what I need to do. So I need a new clutch cable. Um, I need to clean the front of the engine. I need a new oil filter. I need a brand new tire. Um, I've got another pair, of, another set of calipers and uh, but so I need some pads I've got another set of forks which are now like I say in the shop and they're gonna get fully reconditioned with brand new fucking stanchions um, my shock absorber's done <coughs> oh, fuck me my shock absorber's done I've got to clean all this can't really see it there because it's fucking too dark um, the swinging arm, I'm going to paint it. I was going to put it straight on, but I'm just going to paint it, I think. Make it look a little bit tidier. Um, and then I've got uh, my back wheel at home. That needs a new tyre. So once that's done, I can get it back to a rolling chassis again. And then I can start cleaning down the frame and stuff. And then I can start sorting out the wiring. Um, to know for this the generator so I can start doing that um, and then we can start getting it back together and then once it's back together oh I've got I've got some new head bearings as well which I'm going to do so and when then while the top yoke's off I'll give that a clean and a rub down and maybe a paint or something um, this thunder ace what I'm going to do because there's a bit of oil in the fucking a bit of water in the engine oil. I'm going to retorque the head down, see if that does it. Um, if it doesn't do it, then it's going to go on fucking eBay spares a repair or something. I don't fucking know. I need to start having a clear out. This Thunder Ace, I'll keep it. Oh, well, you can see there's a new there's a new piece of shit in here. That ain't mine. It's Zach's. Um, that spare engine there, I'll probably fucking get rid. I've got some Thunder Ace wheels, I've got some fucking R6 forks, I've got some ZX9R forks, well a, a front end, so I need to get rid of that. So I'm going to start having a clear out, guys. Um, I think I need to get some cash back for all this fucking money I've spent on my ZX12. Um, like I say, the, uh, the shock absorber, it's like brand new now. But it's just cost me 360 quid. Um, but I'm well happy with it because a brand new Maxton 
of a similar type was fucking 950 quid and it's pointless me spending that sort of money because I'll never ever get the fucking full benefit out of a, a, a you know proper shock like that and I want to keep my ZX12 as standard as possible so yeah so the forks so I've got, I'm having some forks done calipers so I'll do a proper video probably next weekend to be honest with you when weather's a bit better hopefully can't do it in rain um, but yeah we'll get it sorted um, and then I'm gonna have to come up with a way to try and jack up the front end while I take this the front end of the bike while I take this off while I take these forks out on this wheel off because like I say I need some new tyres so and the wheels need the wheels need painting you can see there look the fucking Oh, you can't even see what discs there look the shit of them. Um, so they need fucking sorting out and painting and stuff. So I'm going to do all that. So only a quicker and we will uh, see you again soon. Right. Back home. The weather's totally shit. Uh, so I've just been up to Alfred's and got some tins of paint. Because um, I'm going to... I'm going to paint this black. I'm not going to put it on like it is. Um, so I'm going to paint it black. Fuck's sake. So I shall be doing that. I might do it tomorrow. Um, these are the calipers that I've got. I need some new brake pads for them. Um, and I might get a, a, a seal kit for it as well. Because um, mine. They're all, somebody's painted them before and they're all just painting all these bits here. Um, so I need to just get some on nice and clean that match the back one. So the back one's there, look. Um, so the back one's got brand new pads in. Um, and I'll give it a bit of a clean. So I want, the, I want them to match if that makes sense. Um, so I shall do that. And then, uh, and then obviously this this shock absorber. Um, I'm gonna. I'll just show it you outside in the light. Um, because, like I say, I've spent a fucking lot of money on this, and whoops. Um, so yeah, so this is the shock. I'm not gonna go outside because it's fucking raining. Um, but yeah, I'm, uh, I'm well happy with that. So it's got a brand new sticker on. Come on, focus in. Um, and then it's been painted. The spring's been powder coated. The aluminium bits have been cleaned up. And it's got a brand new rod in it. So I'm well happy with that. Um, so that's like literally like new, is that? Which is good. Lovely. So it's like new is that now. So I'm going to keep that under wraps until I'm ready to install it. So it's going to keep wrapped up in that towel and in that box. And then, uh, like I say, what I'll do then is uh, paint the swinging arm. And then, then I'm going to take the swinging arm and the shock down and, and refit it. And then it's there, then out of the way. Uh, and I'm going to get some new tyres for this. And I'm going to paint the wheels as well. Um, spray them, that's why I got two tins of that shit. So, right, this is definitely it, guys, and um, I will see you next week.